obviously it's nice if you can come out and make it part of your walk to collect these little beauties but let's not kid ourselves you can find them in your garden you can just find them in any just any green land near where you are it's city centers mate they'll grow everywhere but i've got a load in my garden and i'm about to cut the lawn so we'll use them there <laughs> I'm out of practice mate, look. Got levels in that, I can't even get my head in mate. It's been a while, hasn't it? A bit rusty. Get up here. Get up there. Get up there. That's better, isn't it? How you doing mate? Long time no see. Unless you follow me on Instagram then I've posted a little bit on Instagram but I've been a bit <laughs> been a bit off the radar mate one reason or another uh, the main reason is just wanting to sit with everything that's going on I've just wanted to take a step back uh, and concentrate on the little things mate concentrate on my noggin uh, I, you know I started off quite well in, in quarantine and then just you know missing my daughter and missing my girlfriend and my friends and family and stuff it sort of started to get to me and then bad habits start creeping in with me and then one thing leads to another and I'm just <laughs> you're just drinking whiskey out of a shoe at half four in the morning aren't you or whatever and so I'm back on right path mate I'm back on right path I've not I've <laughs> I started playing Xbox and that just to pass the time I dusted off my old Xbox I started playing Grand Theft Auto 5 and all this sort of stuff and I realised that it's just a waste of time, man. I was just, veg I was just, I was just wasting my time. So I've got rid of that. Um, I've started running. I've got shin splints from running so much because I got a bit put on a bit of uh, <laughs> a bit of quarantine, mate. A bit of extra, a bit of extra pud, a bit of extra podge. So anyway, it's a slow progress, and I'm sure a lot of you are struggling as well. And I send you nothing but love, mate. Uh, it's a, it ain't easy, I'm not going to say it is, it, but it is, with with little incremental steps, you can get to somewhere good, a good headspace, and that's what I'm doing at the moment with, uh, you know, with my diet, exercise, plenty of just wild swimming, do, going out into nature and stuff. I'm not, I haven't been filming, I've just been doing it for me, but I wanted to just do a video just to say hello really and just to wish you all love and, and just let you know that I'm okay as well because a lot of people have reached out to ask if I was alright and I really do appreciate that and um, the messages of support are the reason I'm out the reason I'm out filming because you're just just the legends the lot of you so I thought I wanted to come and speak to you and just to say hello and just to say like we've got this but I have to do something a bit outdoorsy, so 
I've been looking at, I've been doing a lot of foraging of late, getting back into it. And I thought, shall I do something elaborate? Because I know there's a lot of, I found a lot of um, Japanese knotweed near me. I was going to do like a Japanese knotweed crumble and stuff. But what I thought I'd do was just keep it very simple and do something that, ah, getting bit into bits, mate. It's getting late in the evening and all the, uh, all the biting bastards are coming out. I thought I'd keep it simple and do something that everybody can do. If you've got a garden or a bit of green space near you, even in the inner city, and that is dandelion, dandelion flowers. So we're going to deep fry some dandelion flowers. Now, usually you would do that as a savoury thing. Um, I was thinking maybe you know, a bit of curry powder in the batter um, and then do it with like a mango chutney dip or something like that. But then I thought, nah, because that's been done. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're going, we're experimenting now. We're going experimental with the emphasis on mental because we're doing, we're doing sweet dandelion and burdock flower fritters if we can. We'll give it a go anyway. We'll see what we can do. Got me up, oh, Northern Monk bag for life for the north. <laughs> Oil. I'm gonna go mad on it. Lively, she's lively. It swears me dandelions. Ugh. Picked them from garden and then let them soak in water for about 10 minutes just to get rid of all bugs and dog piss and whatever. <laughs> and then put them in with some kitchen roll or some toilet roll. Sausage roll, whatever, just to get all the moisture out of them. That's what we want to do. They want to be nice and as dry as you can get them, really. Should we get a good specimen? They are. I bet you've missed me focusing issues, haven't you? And what you want to do is you want to strip as many of these green leaves off around as you can, around that are, that are holding all the yellow petals together because they can be quite bitter. Stalk off. There you go. You don't have to get them all off. That's about good enough for me. So I'm just going to prep all these. Flour in. And then, this is where it gets a bit, this is where I'm going off piste. Ah. Dandelion and burdock. I know what you're thinking. Lockdown's gone to his head. He's lost it. He's gone. And you might be right, but it might be delicious. It might work. I mean, my thought process was, you know, you can do beer battered stuff, can't you? So why not, if you're doing a sweet thing, why not use dandelion and burdock batter? <laughs> That's what we're doing anyway, and you're here to watch whether it whether it fails or whether it's a success. No, yeah, I don't want it too thick, mate. Just want it nice and I'm just like coat some. There, that'll be that. I reckon that'll be good. Nice and just just seems right. Dust me dandelions, which I don't think I've ever said that before. And this will just help the batter stick, so we're ready. We're ready, mate. Let's get it over to the fire. What we'll do is we'll drop a little bit of batter in. To see if it when that gets hot. We'll know. Right, I don't want to overdo it. Don't want too many in. Cause... You don't want them to stick together and you don't want to reduce the heat too much. Oh, it looks all right.
got some honey um, from my friends, David and Mary, from Dunster, Dunster Honey, and that's made in their garden by their very own bees, so we're going to use that and drizzle it over them. Little bit of a dusting of okay, that's icing sugar. I'm just Jenny from the block, mate, that's all. Right, I'm losing my light. Farting about trying to get a thumbnail, no point. <laughs> Let's just enjoy it, mate. Look at this. Let's show you, should we get a good specimen? He looks like a decent lad. Right, come in, come in here. Oh, I've got MCAT on lens, but yeah. Woohoo! It's too warm for a fire, mate, I'll tell you that much for now. Oh, right, I'm going in. Mmm. <laughs> You know what? That is a success. You need the sweetness of the icing sugar, otherwise it would be a savoury thing. But that is. Mm. <laughs> I've nailed it. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Are you having that, mate? Are you having that? Back in the game, mate. Back in the game. Been out at game for a while, but... That's how you make a triumphant return, innit? By... By having focusing issues. Can you hear how crunchy that is? Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, all of it. All of it chin. Or oh, chins. As it is after since lockdown. I'm growing growing missing a few more chins. <laughs> this is well good. Genuinely really good. You could do anything, I guess you like I say. Make them savoury if you want. This was just my own idea, and using dandelion and burdock in the batter gives it a sweetness as well. And you know what? I'd like to, I'll probably have a guess that I'm the first person in the world to do that. <laughs> oh, spitting everywhere, mate. Trailblazing, mate. Trailblazing with dandelions. Mmm. Mmm, hungry as well. <laughs> nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Getting eaten alive by stuff, but I don't even care. Um. This is the last one, mate. If you just walk through them trees now, and you're like, easy, can I have your last deep fried dandelion and burdock battered dandelion flour? I'd be like, yeah, mate, it's yours. 100% give it to you. <laughs> Go on. Lovely, mate. Absolutely lovely. 
It is a diuretic, the um, the dandelion. <laughs> so I'll probably piss the bed tonight, but what's new? Um, the whole of the plant can be eaten as well. It's a really versatile plant. Um, the leaves, you can make, make a tea out of the leaves. You can eat the leaves in your salad, they're quite peppery. You can use the roots, you make uh, dandelion root coffee. Um, all sorts, mate. It's full of vitamins. They're good for you. You can eat the... Just eat the flowers. Nice. I'm well happy with that. Well happy with it. Delicious. Um, so yeah, that's something for you to try with your family, with your kids or just on your own. Before you mow the lawn, pick all your dandelion heads and um, use your imagination. Do whatever. Do whatever. You don't have to necessarily batter them. But uh, yeah, use your imagination and uh, and get involved. Again, it's just one one less thing that you have to get from the supermarket in it, and that's always going to be a good thing. Ah, mate, it's nice to be out in woods. I've been coming out, but I've not been filming, and I've enjoyed it, mate. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the experience of filming because it is a hobby, of man. But I realised, you know, in lockdown, that it is just that. It's a hobby. Don't take it too seriously. Don't try and take over the world, Hazo. That's what I was... I got a bit caught up in, like, right, I've got to release a video a week. I've got to keep up. I've got to, like, try and make it a business. Try and make a living off it. And it, and it just... In, it's not doable for me. It ain't doable. I'm a landscaper. That's what I am. I'll never not be a landscaper. It ain't worth it, mate. I'd like to just take a step back. And just um, and just get back to nature and get back to doing what I, I what I love. Drinking cream. Diet starts tomorrow. <laughs> As my fire just dies down, mate, and I'm just finishing off my cream. I'm not really going to eat that drink that now. That's mad, isn't it? That's mad. If you're trying to get rid of these bad boys. Can't be drinking cream. So as I said before, mate, I was just I, I, I've I've struggled a little bit with me noggin. Not I've not like lost the plot or anything like that. It's just got into some bad habits. Um, you know, just bad habits, man. I'm sure we all are just drinking joint day. I was being a, like my mind was being lazy. My mind, my chimp brain was. If you've ever read the chimp paradox, my chimp brain was winning, and. Um, yeah, I was just picking up some bad, bad routines, bad habits, and I was just missing, missing my girls, man, missing my girls. But on the what kickstarted it all is, uh, I was able to see my daughter, and we, I took her down the, down the, by the sea, and we looked for crabs and stuff, and we had a beautiful day out. That was that's a tick for me. That's a big tick in heart. That. We had a picnic on the rocks, which is it's a lovely thing to do, which is something that my old man used to do with me. So it's full full circle. It's nice to get out of the house for you, isn't it? First <laughs> <laughs> She didn't get out of the house much with the the current situation, so and we don't see each other because of the current situation, so it's been it's been lovely just to hang out and see if we can f and just explore the rock pools and see that mad red fish on top of the rock it was a wrasse that a heron had got or something or a cormorant <laughs> uh, anyway this is a oh that's enough for our coastal adventure um i'll take you back to the garden or the woods or wherever i've managed to end up uh kaya you slap that for me and then, um, and then, because Alice works, my, my partner, for anyone who's new here, um, works on the front line for the NHS. So I'm high risk, so we've not been able to see each other. And she got tested before the weekend a couple of weeks ago, and, and it came back negative. So I was able to spend a whole weekend with Alice. We went out near where she lived. We did a bit of wild swimming, had a few picnics, just had some lovely time here, and it really, Seeing my loved ones just rejuvenated me, and then I was sort of like, 
on the right path. Um, and I posted about it. I posted a, I put a picture on Instagram just saying, you know, that I'd been struggling and stuff. And the response was what really did get me, get my ass into gear. It was just, it was, it was wonderful. And everybody in the comments was so nice and so nice to each other. Not just me. I just put, I just put a picture on there, but everyone was being nice to each other saying like, you know, we'll get through this together. And it was a real community spirit and it, Give me a right kick up the ass, and it made me feel just felt proud, mate. Felt real proud. Oh, and I can't thank you enough. I genuinely can't thank you enough, mate. From the bottom of my heart, like you, you know, it was dark times. It was dark times, and. Uh, and your kindness and everything and the nice words. You just got me through. So I thought I owe it to you to make it, you know, to at least get out there and start making videos again now that I'm in a good space. And I know I don't look like I'm in a good space because I'm, uh, I'm getting emotional and stuff, but that's all part of it, mate. That's all part of it. I'm an emotional, I mean, I'm always emotional, mate. I don't know. That's just how it is. <laughs> That's just how it is. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the kind words. Um, you, you know, I, I don't, I, I, I can't reply to everybody, but I try and read as many as I can. And trust me, they've made me feel absolutely amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, what an idiot I am. What an idiot. Right, let's square this fire away, mate, and let's get back into quarantine. Ugh, quarantine, a Turner. We'll do one of these. Do a quick yan. There you go. Keep it in bush box because it has been a dry. We've had a real dry, sunny spell here in the UK, um, and there's a lot of leaf litter about here. So if I'm just coming in and out quick, I don't want to. I don't need to have a full fire on the floor. The beauty of the bush box. Right, thanks for watching. Um, as a lot of you know, I'm self-employed, I'm a landscaper, and uh, but I haven't been able to work, man. I've not, been, I've not worked for weeks and weeks because I'm high risk as well. Um, I've, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel because think the, the tips have started to open and things like that, so hopefully I'll be able to start working soon, but it has been absolute chore. Uh, I've had to do everything I can just to keep my business going and just to keep a roof over my head. Um, I'm just going to be quick with this. I did. I, de I designed these patches, look. It's my logo, but in water, and it's a dunk the junk thing. And the idea was that I was going to dunk the dunk my junk. Oh, what's my light doing here, look? Oh, it's not time to think about light, is it? Um, <laughs> yeah, I was going to dunk my junk in awareness for men's testicular cancer because... I've had testicular cancer, and that's when um, I, you know, I nearly popped my clogs, lost all me. That's when <laughs> I was looking at old photos of myself recently. I've heard there's only it was before like social media and stuff and camera phones and stuff. So I've only got a couple of photos. So I was looking at it, thinking, ah, shall I shave my head for quarantine? And what I was looking back at them, thinking, oh, that's what I, just to see what I look like, and it's, it's not not good. <laughs> not good. They look like some sort of rat, rat fink. Uh, yeah, so I brought these patches out and I was going to sort of dunk the junk and to raise awareness um, for testicular cancer because I used to check my nuts in the bath. Like I used to play with my nuts in the bath because they float and stuff. As you gentlemen will know, you, your junk floats in the bath, so you play with it. You, you, you know, you're just fondling it because you've nothing else to do. <laughs> Sorry, this is very candid. I do apologise, but it has to be said. And uh, I moved into a place that only had a shower, so I didn't have a bath, so I wasn't um, checking my junk when it was in the bath. And that's when I missed it, I missed my, I missed the, the lump. Um, and so I had to have a testicle removed, it spread to my lymph nodes in my stomach, lots of chemotherapy and stuff. And I just wanted to, to do a little something uh, to, to raise awareness. So I was going to bring these patches out, dunk the junk for... Men's testicular cancer and prostate cancer is another thing that men should talk about. Go to doctors and get a digit up your sen. Uh, but in light of recent 
events, uh, it just it didn't seem right, mate. It hadn't seemed right to be like, oh, dunk my junk. And I was going to tag three people. I was going to dunk my junk and then tag three people and, and all that. But it just doesn't seem right. So only if, if you're in the same boat as me, mate, and you're self-employed and you're skinted and you, you, you're on your ass, mate, please do not buy one of these. I'll be angry with you if you buy one. I don't want you to buy one. Only buy one if you can afford it. If you've got a spare a spare couple of quid hanging around and you want to contribute to getting me a pint or uh, buying me some dinner or whatever it is, then uh, I would be most grateful. I'll leave the link below and it's the Dunk Your Junk. It's a vinyl, um, a vinyl sticker for outdoors and this doesn't have an, a, a, an edge on it so that you can, you can iron it onto your gear look. There you go. You can get yourself a plain t-shirt and you can just iron that on. Onto your, onto your trunks or something, mate. And you'd be helping me more than you know. Um, I'll leave the link for that below. Right, Nama stay indoors, mate. Nama stay indoors for now. His outdoors will be back soon, hopefully. Uh, take care of yourselves. Love you. Bye. Right, you see, I am going though. That's coming back. Of course I'm coming back mate. Huh? Of course I'm coming back. It's been too long lads. Love you, bye. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bugs all have gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bugs all have gone by by the month.